Hello, welcome to this video tutorial where I show, will show you the differences between the new version 10 of Album DS and the last one. First, the look of the main window has changed. At top, you'll see a series of buttons before you had some tabs. These buttons are now uh, separated into groups. First, the design groups with the new designer, this is new in version 10 and we will explain it better later. Pictures, sheets, masks, backgrounds, clip arts, frames, styles and extras. Extras now opens in a floating window. The other group is for album management, album options, license, install, configuration and help. We have changed the way album management works in this version to make it more intuitive. You may edit the album settings and we have also included sizes for cover and back cover. You may select predefined album sizes like before and save your own sizes in a custom file. And when you create a new album, you have to input the name and select a folder for the album. Also, a list of recent albums will appear here and if needed, you may select some of them and clear select it. Okay, I believe this will be more intuitive and easier to use than before. Also, album options now shows the old menu options at the album tab. Here you may generate web page, create sheet index contacts, generate the files, resize the whole album and export album. Just to mention that resizing whole album is now different than before. Now you will get a window where you have to select the cover and back cover, if you have some, and then input the size of the new album. You have to give it a name and select a target folder. After clicking at resize, Album DS will create a copy of the current album with the new sizes and make it the active album. This way you immediately have a backup of the old, old album and the old new one with the new sizes. Okay. Also, we have changed it a bit in the install window how the installed are uh, marked. I believe this is easier to use than before. Help and configuration have not changed anything. Another new feature in Album DS version 10 are the picture folders. Now you may drag pictures and Album DS will remember the folder of origin. This means you can later filter by folder or by any combination of folders. Okay, now we have added some new pictures and we have two folders. We may select and deselect them to show any combination. Another new feature is the uh, folder separator. You now may double click at the separator and it will hide them, leaving more, size, more place for the pictures and more place for the template preview. Just double click at it and it will open again. This is also valid for masks, backgrounds, clip art frames and so. To mention also that uh, at the mask, backgrounds and other add-ons, you now may select all folders and deselect them, like uh, before in templates. Okay, the template separator from pictures, as before you may move it, but double clicking at it will hide it, uh, hide it at the bottom leaving more space for the pictures. These are the main changes in the Album DS window. Let me show you now how to use the designer. Just click at the designer button and it will open a new window to help design sheets easily and fast. I believe it's very uh, intuitive and uh, you will learn it very fast, but all the options have a help button to show you what uh, how to use it. Well, basically you have a list at the left with pictures, masks and backgrounds. 
You have to select some pictures, one or more, from the list and drag them into the design area. You can see the area where you drop the images will be marked framed in yellow. Once you drop the picture, Album DS proposes a layout, a pre-design. Let us drag two pictures to the right side and here. If you click at the layouts button at bottom, you can see here we have layouts available for one picture and here are layouts available for two pictures. You may mark these layouts with stars letting know which, is your, which uh, are your favorites and then filter by this number of stars. Okay. Once Album DS has proposed your layout, you may change it by clicking at another one. It changes the layout and sets the pictures in the way selected at configuration. Here, for example, it is set the picture should be put uh, centered. Okay. It overlapped layouts. If you uh, want this picture to be the front one, just right click and select bring to front. Okay. Also, Album DS includes a center mark, a center page marking. This red line here shows the center of the page, but once you move it, the whole design changes to one side or another. Okay. You may easily empty the sheet by clicking at this cross and start a new design. Okay. Let's start again putting some uh, pictures in the sheet. We drag three pictures to the left side. We become a li layout. And now we may click at select all button at bottom. Once a picture is selected, you can see four small squares at the corners. And if you select more than one picture, like now we have three selected, you can see also a dotted line framing all of them. If you go to the corners, a yellow bar appears and you may drag from this bar to resize the selected pictures all together. If you click and drag, you can move all the pictures together. Dragging to resize Click and dragging to remove. Okay. A new feature in uh, the magnetic alignment. You can see if you go to the center, this center line is marked in blue. If we go to the border, the border line is marked in blue. And Album DS automatically puts places uh, the selected pictures at this border uh, margin line. Let's place another picture at the left side like here, we resize it and we move it. As you can see, once we get close to the bottom, uh, to the top of the pictures at left, you can get a magnetic line and the picture is automatically aligned. If you drag, the same happens with the bottom. This way it's very easy to align all pictures, but also Album DS includes some options to align a top, bottom, center, left, right, and so, and make them the same size, both sizes, horizontal size and vertical size. And also you may distribute automatically in horizontal or vertical some pictures. Okay. Another option here allows you to set a gap between the pictures. You may use it to make a distance between all the pictures selected. You may easily delete pictures.
pictures in a sheet by selecting them and clicking at delete pictures. Okay. You may also change opacity pictures. Just select them and change their opacity for all the selected pictures. Okay. You may also move a picture in his own layer by pressing Ctrl and resize it by pressing Shift. Shift and Ctrl. This is Shift and dragging, Ctrl and dragging. Okay. No, this design is almost finished. You may replace any of these pictures with another one from the list by just dragging it to the old picture. Or you may move, uh, replace one picture in the sheet by another by dra pressing Alt, dragging it and moving it over another shape. This replaces the picture in both uh, layers. Okay. We may also place a picture bet between two other pictures by dragging it from the list and placing it between these two shape uh, layers. You can see here a red bar. This means you will insert a picture between these two pictures. Now we have three pictures here. Okay. This is also valid for the border of one picture. For example, if you want to place here two pictures at the border, at the left or right border, we drag it until we see a red uh, bar and we drag it split it between two and both pictures are uh, here. Okay, let's clean a bit this design and start again. In Album DS, you may also select the mask and drag a mask to a picture. It will mask the picture. You may still use Ctrl, Shift and even select it to make it larger, move it or align it with other shapes. You may delete a mask by right-clicking and selecting Delete Mask and if you want to replace one mask by another, just drag the new mask. Okay. You may easily frame the pictures by selecting them. To select uh, more pictures, you may click and then control click at the others, or you may have the options to select and unselect at bottom. Select the left ones, select the right ones, all are selected now. Right click and select frame and shadow. Select a color for the frame. And apply. Frame and shadow is applied to all the pictures selected. You may also change the background color for one side and for the other. You may put the same color on both sides and you may drag a bottom to the sheet and also change the opacity of the background. If you want to put a picture as background, drag it from the picture list into the background's thumbnail at bottom. Okay, let's put this one, it shows better. Okay. You may change the opacity of the picture at the background's opacity slider. That is it. 
if you want to add a single picture without any layout drag the picture from the list into this small thumbnail here this will create a free picture and you can move it and place it anywhere so you can see magnetic alignment is valid for all pictures can you see the small blue lines this shows how it is aligned with the other pictures once your design is complete you may just export to Photoshop let me show you Photoshop here you click at export to Photoshop and the same sheet you have just designed will be created in Photoshop the doc keep all the layers used and it will be ready for okay we'll show you all the layers and we'll be ready for using with album DS here you can see all the layers okay once you get the design in Photoshop you may save the sheet just with like any other sheet in album DS go to sheet click save sheet give it a name and it will be saved into the folder you have selected you may also save it as a template